Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Today I'm going to bring you a haul, a Goodwill haul, and a little project share. So the first thing I got yesterday was these jingle bells. A whole bunch of them. And these are really nice and heavy bells. And I think they're vintage. Some of them are turning a little bit of color. But they're so pretty, and I love the sound of the bells. And I thought, oh yeah, and I've got a little small package with it. I got all the bells for $1.99. Now, everything I got yesterday was not on sale. I had to pay full price. But that's okay. Then the next thing I got was this plate. It's a Hummel. And it's called Apple Tree Boy and Girl. It's uh, authentic and it's by the Danbury Mint. And I paid $1.49. But isn't that pretty? And the other one I got is this one. It's also a Hummel. It's called Stormy Weather, Danbury Mint. And also was a dollar forty-nine. They're in mint condition. The next thing I got was this blouse. You know I like the the jean blouses. It's got a pretty applique on the side. Some beads. This is brand new, never been worn, and I paid uh, six ninety-nine. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's got some beads on the bottom and appliques. The next thing I got was this fully beaded top. Isn't that pretty? It's lined. It's just a simple little top. It's the back. And I paid $4.99. It's heavy. And then the next top that I got is also beaded. It's just a basic shape. Look at the uh, beaded appliques on this. And this is all over the blouse, the front and the back. And this one was $4.99 also. This one's really heavy too. And this is kind of unusual. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all in there or not. But this is a bowl. It hangs on the wall. I paid $3.99, but isn't that pretty? My house is decorated in the Southwest style, but this bowl is handmade by Alessandro in Montalupo, Italy, if I said that right, but isn't it pretty? Nicely glazed, hand painted. And then I looked for these online and I finally found some at my store. They're Legos. A whole bag. And what they did, I think, was they got a bunch of these in and they took them out of the box and just filled the bags and took the information out of the box. To save space so it looks like there's two different sets in this one my daughter or my granddaughter collects Legos and she loves this and this bag was $4.99 and then this little one was $2.99 
couple of Legos, and these I don't think were ever used. Just taking out of the box and putting them in bags. This little set was $2.99. Some of these have two and three sets to them. This one was $2.99. Yeah, I just I bought a bunch. This one has no paperwork to it, but it's just stuffed with extra uh, parts. And then this one. <clears throat> that one was a uh, dollar ninety-nine. <clears throat> this one. one this big one elves so I should be happy to get these okay now my project share I'm working on some IC cards and this one is a pocket and this one is gonna go to I won't show you everything in it um, this one's going to I can't remember. I think this one's... <clears throat> let me look and see. I've got the name in here. This one's going to Averill. So, Averill, I've made this pocket for you. It's got some really nice um, fringe with some beads and some pretty laces. This is a big pocket. Lace goes all the way to the top. And then I cut off on uh, one of the jeans bib overhauls and you put a kelp pin and put some dangles on it leaf and a pretty green leaf and another little bead little American flag and cowboy hat and another little charm and I don't have a um, style for this. It's not shabby. It's not vintage. So I'm calling it country. And on the back I have more beads and a layer of, of lace. And these appliques. Um, this was one long strip. So I used my, my glue, my puzzle glue, and put it all on the back of the applique. And then I was able to cut really close and you don't see any residue and it's very flexible. You can hardly tell it's there. So I really like this method of uh, securing your appliques. So I've got some goodies in the pocket and then this is my IC card that I made. Just cut out some appliques. I still use the puzzle thing on this. And I colored it a little bit around the edges so they'd show up a little better. And this is my attempt uh, to do uh, corrugated, um, you know, the sheets for fencing and stuff. So I hope that's what it looks like. And then on the back, I just put a simple little applique with the leaf. And this is some paper. So this one goes to Averill. Believe it or not, sometimes these pockets take a long time to make. I've been working on this since Saturday on two. And I'm still not done. I still have to add some a little bit of bling. And then this one is going to go to Mary Robson. A beautiful fringe. This is um, what I think on this fringe is it was, you know, just regular fringe and it got washed. And I think this is what happened to it. But I think it's beautiful like that. I love it like that. And then I've got some beads. 
she likes the color lavender and some more lace another row of applique and then on this one I got uh, some charms different charms scorpion cowbell and button and I made just a simple little flower I still have to put some bling here with the doily and some lavender lace some goodies in the bag and this is the back more beads and if you if you're looking at videos that people have used um, or I've sent to and you see this type of um, ribbon with beads on it no I didn't do this I can but I didn't do these dangles um, on the beads and then some uh, another applique this is came off of something I think it was a blouse the whole blouse was like this and I used the puzzle saver on the back of this to get it really close so that's the back this one's going to Mary Robson and my IC card is this one I haven't quite finished it yet this applique I believe I got from Roxy Carr, who uh, colored this, one of the ones she saw, uh, and um, dyed. And I just made some little flowers. I got to put some bling on. And this is the back. Very simple. And I got some corners on this one. The other one I don't. I ran out of corners, so. Um, I've got some more ordered, but I'm going to ship it without the corners. And I like the corners. It makes a nice little touch. So that's it for today. <clears throat> I've got one more IC card to do to catch up, and that's for Brandy. So I'll be working on Brandy's. Um, I'm out of pockets, so I might have to go get some more pockets. I don't know if I'm going to do another pocket one. They take a long time to make, but I love making the pockets. They they turn out really nice with the fringe. They almost look like purses. So, okay, guys, thank you for coming in today and looking at my haul and uh, my little project share. Uh, please check out the description below. I usually make um, additional comments there. And I always put my link, I've got my Facebook link on there now, so if you want to join my Facebook, come on over. Okay guys, thank you for coming in. Love to all. Bye-bye.